With the latest Hollywood outing from the Cape Crusader, Batman has now appeared in 12 live action movies, or 13 if you want to include the Snyder Cut. This goes all the way back to Adam West's wonderfully campy outing and up to the dark and dreary world of Robert Pattinson's iteration of justice. With all those Batman films though, there's been a surprisingly little amount of variation in movie appearances for Batman's villains. While a lot of the major players have appeared, they've still barely scratched the surface of villains they can use. Batman's rogues gallery is one of the most varied and consistently entertaining in all of the comics industry, and as such, there's still a decent amount of characters who have yet to grace the silver screen. I'm Emil from What Culture, and he is eight Batman villains who haven't appeared in a movie yet. Number eight, Clayface. When you really think about it, it's kind of surprising that Clayface hasn't appeared in a movie yet. He's appeared in the Arkham game, the Lego games, and is a prominent villain in the comics. He's also appeared in almost every Batman cartoon ever, yet they have just not pulled the trigger on getting the clay monster into a Hollywood movie. While there has been a few different versions, the one that most people are familiar with is Basil Carlo. He's an actor that took a substance that mutated him into the shape-shifting creature he is today. His new form drove him insane, as it would, quickly cementing himself as a main player in Gotham's underworld. Having plots going from simple bank robbery to murder, using his shape-shifting powers to steal the identities of people like Bruce Wayne, Clayface is someone that could have easily been a minor or major villain in a Batman film. However, with the Batman's apparent focus on more grounded characters, it might take even longer for Carlo to make his big screen debut. Oh, drag yourself along now, Clayface. Number seven, Prometheus. When you look at the list of Batman villains, you start to notice a lot of them are twisted reflections of various parts of Batman's character character. Joker is the chaos to Batman's order, Two-Face the twisted version of Batman's sense of justice, and Scarecrow reflecting Batman's use of fear. But Prometheus is perhaps the most literal interpretation of that philosophy, as he is pretty much the reverse Batman. Growing up, Prometheus was raised by his parents who happened to be criminals. One day, the police tracked them down and his parents forced the cops into a shootout. Prometheus's parents were killed right in front of him as a result, traumatising him and motivating him to travel the world in order to learn how to be the world's greatest assassin. Now Prometheus hunts down and kills any police officer or authority figure he can find, causing him to clash with Batman more than once. He's a bit obscure in comparison to other villains, but he's definitely one that could fit into a gritty Batman world. 6. Hugo Strange Professor Hugo Strange is someone that doesn't always get the spotlight, but when he does, he can cause some serious issues for the Caped Crusader. Strange is a psychologist that is completely obsessed with the Batman. Posters on the wall, everything. Even learning eventually that Batman is Bruce Wayne. What he does with this information differs depending on the version of the character, but he is consistently depicted as brilliant but unhinged. He even dressed up like Batman in private before. Cool party if you ask me. He was convinced he was the only one to truly understand the vigilante. Whether he wants to be just like Batman or prove he's superior to him depends on the iteration, but Hugo Strange is someone that should not be underestimated. From his role in the Arkham games to his cartoon appearances, he's shown every ability to make Batman's life completely miserable, and with the right director, he could easily be an iconic movie villain in his own right. Number five. Owlman. If you've read DC Comics for any amount of time, you're familiar with the fact that the multiverse is a very big deal, even in the main continuity. Heroes often have to deal with alternate dimensions and travel to different universes with weird versions of those familiar characters. Owlman is one such character, an evil version of Batman from a world where all the villains are good and the heroes are bad. Owlman is just as smart and just as skilled as our Caped Crusader. As such, he is just as, if not more dangerous, than Batman himself. Apart Part of the crime syndicate, their version of the Justice League, Owlman would probably look a bit out of place by himself in a solo Batman film. However, he and the rest of his team would be perfect for a future Justice League movie, and we can finally see the Bat versus the Owl in glorious live action. It'll be a right hoot. 4. Solomon Grundy Solomon Grundy, born on a Monday, christened on a Tuesday, rejected from movies on Wednesday. Grundy is deceptive in how complex he actually is. A giant undead monster that can smash anyone he fights to tiny pieces, but a part of the character that can often get overlooked by fans is that Grundy's personality, it's always changing. Grundy has died and come back multiple times, and his behaviour and motivations change every single time. Now he can be a friendly but misunderstood monster that just wants some love, or a sadistic and dangerous villain that wants some money and power, or just a brain-dead beast that is controlled by someone else. Option C is pretty much me with a hangover. Now everything about him can differ because of this, making him a character that can flexibly fit into any role needed. Whether it would be a mindless minion or a cunning monster that Batman has to track down, Grundy could be an entertaining part of any movie. Number 3. Professor Pig 
Now, this guy is creepy. I mean, just look at him. Sorry, Professor Pig, but honestly, Professor Pig is an insane master surgeon. One of Batman's less known villains, Pig is also one of his most disturbing as he kidnaps citizens of Gotham streets and works on them, desperate to fix any perceived physical imperfections. Unfortunately, when you're a crazed perfectionist, everything seems like an imperfection. He often turns his kidnapped victims into mindless but obedient dolatrons, named that because he sees them as nothing but dolls, meaning he is almost never alone. See what I mean? Pig is pretty much straight out of a horror movie, which makes it a bit crazy he's not had at least a minor role in a Batman film yet. With the more grounded world of Patterson's Batman, Pig's unnerving look and motive for his crimes would fit right in for a sequel, provided that he doesn't scare off every member of the audience first, that is. 2. The Court of Owls One of the newest additions to Batman's rogues gallery is The Court of Owls. This is a group that brought Batman to his limits like very few others really could. After all, they didn't just push him to his physical limits, they didn't even stop at pushing pushing him to his mental limits. They also made him question his entire life as a protector of Gotham. The Court of Owls are a group composed of Gotham's elite that dates all the way back to colonial times. They've controlled the city in secret for its entire existence, using their power and influence to do whatever they wanted. While it's hard to physically fight a secret society, that is where the Talons come in. Talons are assassins that act on the court's orders, used to dispatch the group's enemies. Enemies like our dear Mr. Wayne. Beaten, broken and thrown in a maze for over a week so he slowly becomes insane, Batman has been put through the ringer thanks to the Court of Owls, and with their grip on the city, they would be an incredibly interesting and difficult enemy for Batman to fight on the big screen. Given we saw a bit of the history of Gotham in the Batman, this would definitely be something that could appear in a sequel. Number one, Hush. This character had an indirect tease in the latest movie, but it seems like his story may be a bit different from the comics. Hush is really Thomas Elliot, a childhood friend of Bruce Wayne's. Thomas's time growing up was a negative reflection of Bruce's as he went through a lot of the same beats Bruce did, but they were so, so twisted. While Bruce's parents were loving, Thomas's parents were abusive and controlling. And while Bruce's parents were killed by a random mugger, Thomas tried to kill his parents by cutting the brakes to their car. And when that only killed his father, Thomas went back for more and killed his mother by hand when he got a bit older so he could take his family fortune. I mean, he's pretty impatient, as you can tell. Thomas grew up to be a neurosurgeon with a secret hatred of the Waynes, using his smarts and ruthlessness to become Hush. He learnt Bruce is Batman, orchestrated a plan to finally kill the vigilante too. Hush would be more than at home in a movie, and with any hope, he'll be in one soon. Hey, in fact, I've got an idea for DC. How about they put them all in one film? They could call it, I don't know, like the suicide... Oh, oh, it's okay, never mind. Never mind, never mind. Look, I've got loads of ideas for next time.